Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I am reviewing another makeup palette. Last week I reviewed Vive Makeup. I will link that video in the description if you want to go and check that out and watch that. But today I'm reviewing a Revolution eyeshadow palette. So for Christmas I got given two palettes from Revolution. This is actually Revolution in collaboration with The Corpse's Bride, uh, which I think I watched that like a lot of years ago, so I can't even remember. It's very like gothic-y kind of packaging wise, um, sort of themed obviously because it is The Corpse's Bride, um, like in collaboration with them. But yeah, I got given this for Christmas from Jamie's sister Keisha, so thank you Keisha for giving me these because I'm a massive makeup lover especially eyeshadow palettes and I will never like have too many eyeshadow palettes because especially these ones these are the kind of shades that I don't actually have in my collection so that is great I have been using these palettes especially this little one and um, because he's such a travel friendly um, little guy but I am actually reviewing this one today and then I'm gonna test this one out a little bit more just so that I can give a full review and I will give a full review of this in another video either at the end of this month or next month but just to give you a little sneak peek that is what this one looks like so if you're interested so just if you're interested I am today going to be reviewing this smaller palette from Revolution this palette is called the Newlyweds so this is what the palette looks like and when we open it up inside here are the shades there's a nice mirror which is great these are the shades they're very kind of like purpley blue sort of greeny turquoisey tone there's some matte shades in here there's also some shimmers as well um i'll talk you through the shades i won't swatch them i'll just talk you through them we have the purpley shade which is like a pastely purple which is called newlyweds probably my fa maybe my favorite shade in the palette i just really like that shade then the shade hopscotch which is a blue shade then we've got the shade the groom which is a shimmery kind of silvery color Victor which is more of a black shade it's matte not mine which is a blue a really nice blue I really do quite like that blue color I'm not gonna lie that's a matte shade then the shade Emily which is also a blue shade um, which again is a really nice blue then we have the bride in the corner here which is like a purpley shimmer um, enthusiasm which is a darker blue which is a matte and also love triangle which is like a greeny shade which I used yesterday and that's a really nice shade so that's all the shades in this palette there's a mixture of mattes and shimmers like I said there is um, a good ratio I think it's better to have more mattes in a palette than shimmers it's just easier to work with um, and you can combine any shimmer with a variety of different mattes basically so yesterday I did do a little makeup look I didn't film it I just took a picture and posted it to my Instagram so if you want to go check my Instagram out it is linked in the description but I will leave an image on the screen of the look that I did it was very much more blue themed in today's video I am going to show you a tutorial using this palette but I do use more like purpley colours rather than the blue shades but in future videos I will be doing makeup looks with the blue shades but just thought to let you know um, you can't use every shade in every palette at all times so that's what I'm uh, doing today is more of a purpley look so now to show you a tutorial okay so now for the eyeshadow tutorial section it's not really a tutorial because I'm not 100% sure what I'm exactly doing but like I said today I'm going to be using this smaller palette and maybe next month well definitely next month i will review the other one or at the end of this month but as you can see a lot of blues a lot of kind of like more deeper colors the kind of colors that maybe you wouldn't necessarily reach for oh there's a mirror sorry i've only just seen that i'm filming this before i filmed the bit that you would have just seen so if i'm repeating myself that is why I did use this yesterday, I have used this a few times, but I am going to try and do something different. I'm not entirely sure what exactly that is. I kind of want to go for more of a purple look because I've been going for kind of like blues. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this big fluffy brush and I'm just going to go into this kind of purpley shade called Newlyweds. Pick up quite a lot of product. There is a fair amount of fallout with these because they are super pigmented which is nice that they're pigmented um, but just kind of bear that in mind so I'm just gonna run that across my eye um, like my whole eyelid I mean not my eyeball and just trying to build that 
purple colour up because I really do like this purple colour. It's like a pastely kind of colour. Not sure if this eyeshadow look is going to go with my lipstick, but who cares? Okay, now we've built that purple up. Yes, it is still subtle, but I'm kind of more into like more like subtle looks. Like I will still experiment with colours and everything, but just in a more subtle way. I'm going to use my hands, my finger I think, and I'm going to take the shade The Bride down here, which I haven't used that shade yet, and that's like kind of like a purpley, shimmery shade and kind of just start to pop that over my eyelid very very um pigmented which is great the matte shades are pigmented and the shimmery shades are also nice and pigmented can you see that shine then i'm just going to kind of blend that in a little bit or blend it out now I'm going to take a touch of the shade Emily, which is this blue shade here, and I'm just going to pop that in the outer corner just to kind of blend that in with the purple ever so slightly, and just be super careful with that. And then underneath the eye, I'm going to go in with that shade that purple shade that we started with. Oh, the skeleton's gone. Never mind. And I'm just popping that underneath my eyes. Like that. So it's quite a fresh look. It is a very fresh look. I'm, I'm quite liking that. And um, I think I'm just going to finish off this look by taking the shade Victor, which is a bit black. And kind of pop that in the outer corner just to kind of deepen and intensify the look ever so slightly with the black shades in any palette just you know if you don't want it to be too strong just do a little dab and it will work perfectly fine and you can kind of just define the look a little bit more so i'm just going to make sure it's all fully fully blended and or oh, i don't have a brush to brush away fallout to be fair there isn't actually that much fallout on my face which is nice Anyway, I am going to take this angled brush, I'm going to use the shade The Groom and I'm going to use that as my inner corner highlight just to kind of brighten the inner corner of my eyes. The eyeshadow look is finished, I'm just going to apply some mascara, I'm using the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara and I'm just going to pop that on. mascara is now on so this is the look that i've created using these eyeshadows as you have seen previously in the video i did show you a look that i created yesterday using the shadows where i use more of the kind of bluey kind of green tones but today i went for more like a purpley with a hint of blue kind of look so there is a lot of things that you can do with this palette you can use each shade individually or you can mix them together like i've done I kind of like to do a thing where I will use one shade over my lid one day and then I'll move over to the next one, do that all over my lid and then the next day, the next shade, etc. Just because, I don't know, I just like doing that. It means that you get different looks out of the eyeshadow palette and then I will um, kind of mix and match with the shades. But yeah, that is the finished look. So that was a little tutorial using this palette. I really like the quality of the eyeshadows. I think the mattes are very, very pigmented, which is nice. A lot of the time in like palettes, matte shades are not the most pigmented, but along with pigmentation comes fallout. So there will be a little bit of fallout with this palette, but that's absolutely fine. Fallout comes with most palettes, to be honest now, because as the quality increases and the pigmentation increases that does tend to happen but it's fine shimmery shades are very pigmented as well it is a lot easier to get more pigmented shimmery shades than it does matte shades but these are also you know really nice and they blend really easily that's one thing that i find with this palette is that the shadows blend so nicely together and it blends out there's nothing worse than doing an eyeshadow look with darker colors like this and they're just not blending because it just looks stupid but yeah really nice palette would recommend and it's from revolution so it will be decently priced revolution do amazing makeup it is my favorite makeup brand i've got a lot of palettes from them and i will always stand by their products there's literally no product that i had from their brand that i don't like i really love it and it just 
goes to show you don't need to spend loads of money to get good makeup because this is really good so like I said very shortly at the end of this month or in February I will be reviewing this palette which has got a lot more different colors in it so I do need to kind of play with this a little bit more overall super happy with this palette I would recommend it there's nothing negative I can say at all it's a great little palette travel wise it's got a mirror that's a plus great quality eyeshadows it's tight and the actual eyeshadows themselves have got skulls on them which I really like I think I said skulls schools sounds like I said schools um skulls they got skulls on them um even though I kind of rubbed this little guy off now but never mind um so I kind of like that and yeah it's just great so yeah would recommend very happy with this so that is the end of this little review video. It is just like a short review of an eyeshadow palette. I wanna do more review videos like this. So I hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I will be posting a video on Wednesday, which should be a what I eat in a day video. So just kind of mixing up the content a little bit more. So stay subscribed or subscribe if you wanna see that. But apart from that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. <clears throat> My butt is gone. <laughs>